Welcome back to San Joaquin Audits. On June 16th, 1944, exactly 77 years ago today, George Stinney Jr. was executed by the electric chair. This took place in Columbia, South Carolina. He was only 14 years old at the time and only weighed 90 pounds, standing at five foot two. This made him the youngest person to ever be executed in the 20th century. You're probably thinking to yourself, why was he executed? Well, just three months prior, on March 24th, George and his sister were playing in their garden when two young girls approached and asked where they could find flowers. The two girls, Betty June Binnaker and Mary Emma Thames, would never make it home that day. And hours later, a search party was organized. George actually was a part of the search party looking for the two girls. During that search, he casually mentioned to a bystander that he had seen the two girls earlier that day. The following morning, the bodies were found and George was immediately arrested for the murders. After hours of interrogation, without his parents or an attorney present, the sheriff claimed that George confessed to the murders, even though he couldn't provide a written or signed statement. He had no physical evidence and he had no witnesses. On March 26, a mob even attempted to lynch George, but he was moved to an out of town jail. His family actually had to leave town in threat of lynchings themselves, so George was completely alone during his trial and execution. Keep in mind, this was at the height of Jim Crow, which wouldn't come to an end for another 20 years after George's execution. 81 days after he was arrested, George was brought to trial. At the time, there was a law that stated that only voters could be on jury, but black people at the time could not vote. In result, George was given an all-white jury, which only took about 10 minutes to convict him. The judge sentenced the 14-year-old to death by electric chair. As he was led to the chair, George was carrying a Bible. They actually made him sit on that same Bible because he was too small to fit into the chair. 70 years later, the South Carolina judge held a two-day hearing. The state argued that George's conviction should stand, despite the unfair treatment he was given. The trial court disagreed and vacated the conviction, finding that Stinney was deprived of due process making George Stinney innocent for the murders of the two girls. Why is this story still important today? Well, not only did it highlight the racial injustice that was going on in the country at the time, it highlights a flawed criminal justice system that we have still to this day. Did you know that in 2020 alone, six prisoners were exonerated from death row? That means six innocent people were sitting on death row for crimes that they did not commit. On average, these cases take about nine years before their names are cleared. In the last injustice video I did, I talked about Nelson Cruz. Nelson Cruz is incarcerated to this day, 23 years later, for a crime that he did not commit. I don't think things like this change until we are all aware, so I will do my best to share these stories. With that being said, I will leave you with this one question. Do you think that members of the court should be held accountable and punished whenever they wrongfully convict someone? Let me know in the comment section and let's have a discussion. Thank you, and always remember George Stinney Jr. Mm -hmm.